me start with Commander Solovyev, if I could. Uh, sir, you guys have done a tremendous job in the last few months getting Mir back ship shape and in, in good health. Wondering if you could tell us what you think the odds are that eventually you'll be able to repressurize and use the Spectre module. Uh, unfortunately, the commander is behind us, and he's doing his exercise right now on the treadmill, so he won't be able to talk. But uh, it has been a busy time, and uh, a great deal of repair work has been done, and I can tell you that these cosmonauts, uh, Anatoly and Pavel, are just amazing at their ability to replace systems and, uh, and work hard. It's been spectacular to watch and to help. Just along those lines, maybe you or uh, Mr. Vinogradov could answer the question about Spectre. I mean, you guys must talk about it. Do you think the odds are any good that eventually you'll be able to recover that module? Options to revitalize the Spectre module. Unfortunately, we probably not have enough time to complete it during our mission. Practically all hardware is ready for it. All equipment and repair tools to find the leak and to try to repressurize the Spectre module. The question for Commander Wilkett. Uh, Sir, on this Super Bowl Sunday, there doesn't really seem to be a corner of the United States you can't go without hearing a lot about all that's going on in Washington in recent days. I was just curious if there was a corner of the solar system where you don't find out what's going on in Washington, if you guys are able to keep up or if that's any kind of a distraction for you. Well, actually, we get uh, news from home uh, each day on the version of email that we have up here. So, uh, and, you know, it's such a mental break to uh, read news from home. We're able to keep up with what goes on on the uh, sports field and in Washington. Oh, and it's, is this ahead. Bill? Is this Bill Harwood? Yes, it is, Terry. Go ahead. I oh, just wanted to say hello and hope things are nice down in Florida. Well, they are indeed. Thank you. And uh, I'd like to turn to David Wolf and Andy Thomas briefly. Uh, David, obviously, after four months in space, it must have been quite a sight to see Endeavor pull up. Uh, just wondering what you're looking forward to the most when you get your feet back down on the ground, if it's a specific food or drink or just seeing people, or, or what, what's on your menu of things to do? All of the above, Bill. Everything I think of, uh, even driving my car up to a stop and go and walking in and getting a coffee, every little thing that I think of is something I can't wait to go do. Earth is a wonderful place. Uh, time to pass the baton to Andy. He's a very capable astronaut. And uh, he's ready for an experience of his life. It'll be tough, and it'll be great. Dave, what surprised you the most about working aboard Mir for four months? Uh, obviously, you did a lot of training to get there, but were there any major surprises? Well, uh, I honestly was surprised at just how much work it really is. We really worked from, I'd say, 9 in the morning till midnight every day, seven days a week, holidays included, for the most part. And that's what it takes to uh, really operate a space station and conduct a full science program. And uh, it really didn't hurt. It, once you get to expect that type of work level, uh, it's just what you do in space. What about food, David? Is there anything in particular you're looking forward to? A uh, pizza, a cold beer, uh, anything like that? I've requested uh, a, pepper a pizza with pepperoni and mushroom, and I think a few beverages will go along fine with that. And one last one for you, sir, uh, for right now. A, a lot of pundits and politicians, of course, before you launched back in September, uh, recommended against sending you to Mir, arguing that it wasn't safe. Uh, what would you say to those folks now, four months later, with Mir in the condition it's currently in? Uh, I really appreciate that they looked out for us, and I think their questions were very good. And what we saw was our system working properly, our system of checks and balances. They came up with the right answer. And I'm glad we're here, and I'm glad Andy's staying, and uh, we're getting more than we ever expected out of Phase 1, and we can look forward to a big benefit as we move into the International Space Station later this year. Question for Andy Thomas. Uh, you said yesterday when you came into the Mir Core module that uh, as you looked around, you realized there was still quite a bit to learn despite your training. Uh, what are your first impressions of the station now that you've been there for a day? What sort of surprises have you seen? 
Uh, the thing that strikes me the most is, uh, unlike the training modules which I saw in Russia, there's awful lot of equipment stowed on the walls and on the floor and the ceiling in here. So as a consequence, there's not as much space. And that's the thing I'm going to notice the most, I think, is that uh, there's not as much working volume as uh, I'd anticipated. You know, I think most folks going to Antarctica for an extended stay are certainly doing what you're doing would have some sense of trepidation, I guess, uh, when you watch Endeavor pull away in a couple of days. Have you given that any thought, or you think you're pretty well psychologically prepared to embark on what really does amount to isolation and sort of a hardship assignment? Uh, well, you're right. It is going to be isolated. You know, you think you're psychologically prepared, but uh, things that often turn around and surprise you. I'll have to give you uh, my responses to how I feel after the event of seeing Endeavour leave, but I think it's going to be tough. Uh, one more here. I mean, you list your hobbies in your in your NASA bio as uh, horse riding, uh, mountain biking, running, surfing. Uh, what are you going to do on Mirror when you when you do catch the occasional few hours when you've got it to yourself and have some spare time? Uh, well, hopefully I will get some spare time. We've got music up here. We've got CDs. Uh, we've got CD-ROMs, we've got video films, so we've got those as entertainment. Uh, we've got exercise machines up here so we can exercise. There's even a guitar up here so that we can play guitar if we get a chance. I'll address this question really to anyone, probably I guess Commander Wilkett. Uh, Senator Glenn flying in space in the fall, of course, has generated a lot of uh, interest on the ground. Uh, well, actually, this might be a good question for Dr. Wolf. I, I was really wondering what, what your thoughts might be about the Senator flying uh, as a human being, but also as a test subject for perhaps learning uh, whatever could be learned from one person uh, about the effects of uh, weightlessness and aging and all of that. What are your thoughts about that? Well, of course, uh, one of NASA's goals is to go to Mars and uh, leave our Earth essentially permanently with colonies down the line. We have a lot to learn about that. But, of course, the effects of gravity are largely responsible for the whole form and function of our bodies. And by taking away and changing that variable, we can learn a great deal about how our bodies work on Earth. And it is one of the very important things that we do in space uh, for the benefit of all mankind. And with Senator Glenn, I mean, is that a good thing to do uh, in your mind, to send someone 77 years uh, old up into space to do uh, research with? Oh, well, I guess back to your previous question, I did not know that Senator Glenn was going to fly, or I know nothing about that. I've had very little news for the last three or four months, so someone else might be better able to answer that. I could answer for Dave and I. We'd both be very happy to fly with Senator Glenn any yeah, time, yeah. any place. I understand. Uh, well, let me get back to Dave real quick for a second. One of the questions I meant to ask you earlier was that in the course of your four months aboard Mira, if you ever had any moments where... Uh, loneliness crept in, or, or I won't say depression, but I mean, you are up there by yourself, uh, a stranger in a strange land, if you will. Did you experience any of those emotions, or was it pretty much a steady pace throughout? To some degree, yes, I did. And you have to keep a, a good, rational grip on your mind uh, to hold those feelings at bay. And this is something Andy and I will be discussing, and the fire crews helped me with that, and we're learning how to do that. There's a somewhat of a language barrier where you can't express all the feelings you'd like to, even though we can communicate operationally quite well. So uh, those feelings are a big part of this kind of a mission, and uh, it would be a great privilege to fly with Senator Glenn for any of us. And, gentlemen, I'm out of time. Let me just squeeze one more in here. It's, of course, Super Bowl Sunday down here. I was wondering if any of the... Uh, crew members would care to make a pick or say who the folks are pulling for up there. Well, I guess I can speak for the uh, and for the crew of Endeavor as well as the crew of Mir and say that if there were one place that we're going to be besides uh, the space that we're occupying right now, it would be sitting on the 50-yard line. Российское информационное агентство новости. Олег Лебедев, мы все желаем успешного продолжения завершения космических мира. августа уже близится к своему завершению.
in the time remaining. I will start with the end of your question. By the end of our mission, we have a lot of work to do with the French astronauts. We'll be working together as to the final results of our expedition. I think it's too early to say about the results. We had to do a lot outside of the near station. We replaced the solar array. We did two space walks and several walks to complete various technical experiments on board of the station. Those were very interesting. We also replaced a lot of onboard systems. I believe with this good housekeeping on the station, right now it is functioning well, and we hope that the following mission will be very resultful. And the next question, again, uh, to you. Uh, during your work on the near station, the central computers were not working for a while. What was the reason for those failures? Most likely, the specialist will explain better what the reasons for the failures were. And most likely, uh, those are not the technical disadvantages of our particular system. I believe any kind of computer system is working worse in space than it is working on the ground. That deals uh, with the level of radioactivity, and also we have a lot of micro-orbital debris flying around, electrical impact, and so forth. I think there are ways to shield uh, those systems, and this is what we are doing. Of course, uh, our systems and any other systems, PCs, may fail. This is, I think, inevitable. And new PCs, new computer systems, new generation is on the way. And those will be working fine in space. Thank you very much. I have a question to Samuel Khan. What is the, um, your impression from Endeavour? Thank you for your question. Uh, my adaptation went very smooth and quick. On the first day of the flight, I felt normal already. And I want to say that right now I feel great. And uh, I have a lot of experience working with my colleagues here. Also, uh, the launch was very beautiful of Endeavour. It was all smooth. Right now we are in space. Within two days in space, all systems were working fine. And my personal impression of the views of the Earth and the space are unbelievable. I am very much impressed. Of course, the view of the Mir station was quite impressive for me. Also, when we docked and when we got into the station, you know, the size of the equipment and everything that was working, it was a great impression for me. I want to say, you guys, thank you for keeping the station in such a great shape. All systems are working perfectly. It was my dream to come to the Mir station. And now my dream came true. I can see the station in a much better condition than I expected. And the last question to David Wolf. What are your impressions from the Mir station? Are you satisfied with your activities in Russian, please? 
transmission of your stay in the Russian space station Mir, and please yeah. end in Russian if it is possible. Thank you. Everything was right. It is a great station, very able crew, very safe operations with this crew. We had a lot of work to do, a lot of fixing to do, and we're continuing to working. Everything is fine, you know, and I feel great. Thank you very much. I'm uh, giving the phone to my colleague from Interfax. Another thing, people who are working at the Mission Control Center are working great, and it was a pleasure for me to find out how close they work with the crew. Everything was great. Uh, hello. Uh, I guess Interfax, Andrei hello, Interfax, Andrei Kirill. I have a question to David Wolf. David, please tell me uh, what most interesting experiments you will be conducting within the four upcoming days. What kind of experiments plan to conduct during the... Soon I will give the phone to Andy. Oh, my favorite was the short one. We are going. We are getting ready to bring the results of this experiment on the ground, and Andy is going to continue working on some of it. This is a great experiment for the future of uh, the people. Uh, another question. May I ask another? Okay. A question to Pavel Vinogradov. Pavel, please. Tell us, how do you assess the level of readiness of American astronauts for long-duration missions? I have to say that all of them, without any exception, everybody who comes to the Mir station are experienced astronauts. Most of them have experience in space previously. Uh, for example, John Blaha. And now the people who, who come here, those are grown-up astronauts. They have great level of preparation. And as to the level of preparation of working with the experiment, I think this is the highest level of preparation possible. Of course, it is impossible to get ready for anything what can come up on the station and do the same way uh, as we are training in Russia. We are training for three or five years. Of course, uh, they have a little bit of le less uh, level of uh, preparation in housekeeping for the Mir station specifically, but, you know, this is another area. Oh, also, the question to Andy. Do you believe uh, you are an Australian astronaut or an American astronaut? Because you were born in Australia or American astronaut. I am an international cosmonaut. Thank you very much. All the best to you.